Hello, Diablo 3 fiends and fellow demon hunters. We are here to have a look at the new and improved Shadow's Mantle Impale build for the demon hunter class in Diablo 3 Ripper of Souls. There's been a few changes here since uh, some of the latest patches, so let's have a look and see how it holds up today. Haven't played this build for quite a while. So, using my powerful Bannock senses here, we see that Og Child's authority has been added the shoulders and the braces so what you get when you add these bad boys into this build is you increase damage taken by 15 percent you increase damage dealt by 30 percent and for the three pieces because we got ring of royal grandeur equipped you reduce damage from elites by 30 percent and increase damage against elites by 30 percent then we got five pieces of shadows mantle here ancient and primal ancient wherever possible of course uh we got the the the, the beautiful belt here chain of shadow so basically after we impale we can vault for free for two seconds Traveler's Pledge here with the Compass Rose setup, Elusive Ring for survivability, Holy Point Shot, and a beautiful Kali's Point Dagger, Primal Ancient if possible. So let's jump into a GR and see how this holds up today with the brand new Og Childs implemented. It's been quite a while since I've played the Shadow's Mantle Impale build. Very long time, I can't remember actually the last time I played this, it was many many seasons ago and I never went back to it, Pro probably because I thrashed it so much. It is very overpowered, it is very tanky, uh, at the moment if you're really good, if you're a very skilled demon hunter in the arts of the demon hunter and the shadows mantle build, uh, yeah, it's up there in the leaderboards but can't quite compete with the rapid fire legacy of dreams builds that's currently dominating but this is up there you get the occasional shadows mantle Im impale build up there obviously some people really know how to play this build it, yeah. rapid fire is a little bit more powerful at the moment there's also an Italia's version of rapid fire which i'll be talking about very very soon because i have been dabbling in the arts of rapid fire lately. I'll be talking about both the Natalia's version of rapid fire and also of course the Legacy of Dreams version which at the moment is probably the best build for the Demon Hunter class for GR pushing. On the most powerful rather. It does depend like because Demon Hunters are so versatile you know the builds are so different they vary very much. There's some good stuff out there. Very very powerful stuff. Usually what people do is they follow suit. They're like sheep. So if there's, if a certain build is currently ranked number one in the leaderboards, then they'll copy that build or do something very similar and also compete with it. And then you get like a top 10, top 20 of very similar builds. Uh, but if you want to be different and try something new, which, you know, I don't have the time. I don't have enough time to compete with leaderboards in a season because I work for a living. So I basically lose 10, out of, 10 hours out of every day because I work and then probably two to three hours because I'm, I'm quite physical and active and I go to the gym so that leaves a very it's it, you can't because it's a very time consuming game and the more time you spend on it uh, it'll definitely help you to get out in the leaderboards it's not necessarily a game of skill Diablo 3 skill is definitely required but you need the time to really level up those paragon points augment your uh, items um, and yeah, it's just, everything takes time. I don't have the time. I wish I did have the time. But from what I can see on the leaderboards, without babbling too much, is Rapid Fire Legacy of Dreams right now is a very powerful build and is currently the top build for Demon Hunters on the leaderboards. In off-season though, oddly enough, Natalia's is the most powerful from what I can see, but it's kind of... You know, you get the occasional Shadows Mantle Impale Demon Hunter on the leaderboards as well. I suppose what I'm trying to say is the majority of the leaders uh, Legacy of Dreams Rapid Fire. But that's the thing about Demon Hunters, it's, you know, even though you, you have your dominating builds, there's also, a, you know, a little bit of different variations in there. Which is good to see, it gives other people the opportunity to get up there and, you know, be different and stand out. Like, I hate doing what everyone's doing, so just because everyone's doing the Rapid Fire Legacy of Dreams builds, I, I, I would, you know, 
do something different, which I did. I've been using the multi-shot Unhallowed Essence build for quite a while, and I've just recently switched now to Natalia's Rapid Fire build, which I'm working on. And at the same time, Natalia's Rapid Fire is good to work on. So if you get if you get your if you get all the items that you need, then by all means, start a Rapid Fire Natalia's build, and then it's a good build to work your way into the Legacy of Dreams. Build because obviously with Legacy of Dreams you need every uh, set, set, sorry, every item, I'm trying to talk and play at the same time, every item needs to be ancient, well it doesn't need to be, but obviously to get the max effect with your damage output, every item should be ancient or primal ancient, so that is work in itself, trying to get all your items to ancient, so in the meantime, I think Natalia's Rapid Fire is definitely a good way to start, if Rapid fire is what you're interested in. So right now we're playing, I just entered a GR90, just, you know, for the sake of sh giving everyone a good example, a nice quick example, definitely can do GR100, 100 plus here, obviously depends, you want to augment your items, uh, and then you can definitely smash through to the GR100s. GR100s, uh, I can definitely do quite comfortably, but it'll be difficult to talk and do it at the same time. I have to concentrate a lot more. Whereas 90, as you can see, can smash through. Uh, very, very tanky build. So far, I'm very happy with it. Like, it's still pretty good. It, it really, really holds out the old Shadows Mantle Impale. And with Orc Childs, the Orc Child set, it's really actually powerful for sure. So I will be doing a build guide in the future, full build guide, details, and I'll take my time talking about items and uh, your strategies, the game mechanics, everything like that. Sorry, you know, the mechanics for the build, your rotations. I'll get into all the details in the future. This was just a little test, and right now, I'm pretty damn happy with the old Shadow's Mantle. New and improved Impale build for the Demon Hunter class in Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls. Let me know what y'all think, you fellow Demon Hunters out there in the comments below. If you haven't played a Demon Hunter before, then definitely check out the videos on my channel because Demon Hunter is primarily my main class, but I've played every class in the game and I've got guides for every single class and every single aspect in the game. If there's anything specific you want to see, this creepy guy right here, because everyone calls me their creepy uncle, I don't know why, I don't think I'm creepy at all, but if there's anything uh, specific you want to see me talk about, about Diablo 3 or, or, or talk about a video about my life or anything that you want to see, I will deliver. Just let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back and we'll be talking more Diablo 3 in the near future. In the meantime, love you all. Stay creepy.